Hi everyone, Seth Alchemist here. First of all, I would like to thank you for your subscriptions, for your likes, for your comments. It truly means a lot to me. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for your support. It really encourages me to do more readings for you. And don't forget to leave in the comment section if you have any questions, because it inspires me to do more readings based of your questions. If you want private readings, go to sefalchemist.com. I offer there many services, including personal readings, sigils, and rituals and spells. This is a collective reading, so not everything might resonate. It is a message from your higher self. Let's get right to it. So I invite you to pick one of these two piles that I have here. Pick one of the two paths. Feel free to take your time, whichever resonates with you. And I'm going to start with the pile that I'm carrying with the right hand right here. So message from your higher self. What does your higher self want you to know? First card I pulled right here, Wheel of Fortune. All right, this is incredible. Major Arcana, the first card that I pulled. Very good, Wheel of Fortune. And I'm going to show you the other cards that I pulled here. But the feel of two major arcanas, Wheel of Fortune and the Empress and the Nine of Cups. Reversed. Two major arcanas upright from the first pull. So your higher self here is trying to say that Abundance, because the Wheel of Fortune, for me, when I hear it, it means financial abundance. It means money, especially in this reading. Financial abundance, money, and you've been working on some projects. I hear that some of you have been, for example, if you're in a job situation, you've been working on some kind of project and you're going to be offered a raise. Or if you own a business, you're going to start making more sales. This is what the kind of abundance I'm hearing from spirit right now. It's not that someone is just going to come and give you an amount of money just like that. It's something you've been working hard on and the money is going to come. So if you've been struggling, for example, to sell something in your business, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to sell a product and you've been working on it for months and months and you didn't make so much sales this month, the sales are going to start. It's going to take off and you're going to start seeing that result that you've been waiting for. And here we have the Empress as well, because this Empress here represents your empire, what you've been building, the work you've been doing. The work you've been doing with your knowledge and wisdom as an Empress is going to bring you the money that you've been wanting, that you've been looking for. Here, this card, the Nine of Cups in the middle. This represents for me a sort of burnout, a sort of uh, tiredness. It's like you're tired, you're exhausted because you've been doing a lot of work. And that, that exhaustion is going to continue this month. You're still going to feel it. Um, so make sure to take care of yourself. Your higher self is saying that you've been working hard, but don't forget to take care of yourself. Don't forget to do something for yourself, to celebrate, to exercise, to go out. And enjoy you know something that you love go go for shopping and buy something that you desire do something for yourself something that makes you happy um, because you've been just doing a lot of work money is gonna come from that hard work but use it to celebrate don't don't just splurge it and waste it but take some part of that money and use it for yourself it's time to celebrate this is great let's pull a couple more cards to see 
what your higher self wants you to know. The sun, again, another major arcana, upright. Even though this is the fall, and the sun is usually more of uh, a card that represents spring and summer, just in this reading specifically, because I'm just saying what your higher self wants you to hear. But this, this fall, it's a sunny fall. Sun here means happiness, joy, good news, enlightenment, you know? So you've been um, in the dark for a very long time, and finally you're gonna reach that kind of uh, uh, illumination that's gonna show you the way, that's gonna show you the path that you're meant to walk. So this is great. So far, three major arcanas, all upright. You guys are doing wonderful, seriously. Again, the Two of Pentacles. This is saying that the change, it's a confirmation of the message. The change that you've been waiting for is coming, and especially in terms of money, in terms of coins, money, abundance, financial success. This month is it for you. This is very, very good. And we have the Nine of Wands reversed. This is the another card I pulled just off the top of the deck. And all of the struggles, all of these situations that you've, uh, that you've been facing, uh, that has to do with a lot of people. This, these people, what I'm hearing from Spirit, these people were causing you a lot of problems. Now these people are going to become quiet. They're going to shut up. They're not gonna talk anymore because they're gonna see your success. They're gonna see your abundance. They're gonna see that you're doing well. So they're going to back off. They're not gonna try to cause you uh, uh, trouble and problems as much as before. So this is very good because they can see that you're capable, you're independent, and that you are the Empress who has the wheel of fortune. They will see that. So they're gonna stop bothering you. They're gonna respect you. They're gonna start even fearing you. So the way they were treating you before is gonna change. And one last card, but I was holding this to shuffle, but before I shuffle, I'm gonna show you what's at the bottom of the deck. Another, because this is incredible, another major arcana. Upright again, the hangman, okay? This means that this month, when all of these good things are gonna happen, you're gonna have to hold for a moment. You're gonna have to pause a little bit because you're gonna be overwhelmed. And when you're overwhelmed, you don't want to take action. You don't wanna take action out of emotion, out of uh, excitement and out of overwhelm because you might make the wrong choice. So when this happens, take a moment, go celebrate, be happy, the sun, enjoy the sun, and pause. Why pause? Because you need to plan how you're gonna move on forward. You need to do some planning. You need to think about what does this represent in your life? How are you going to continue with this success, with this abundance? And how can you maintain it? How can you sustain it so you don't lose it? This is what the hangman means here. Amazing. Congratulations for you guys. I'm going to show you again how many major arcanas are here. I'm going to... Spirit is saying I don't need to pull another card here because look how many major arcanas came up for you. Four major arcanas. The Empress, the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, and the hangman. All upright for you. This is what you are right now. So amazing. You guys deserve this. I'm proud of you and your higher self is also very proud of you. I'm gonna move on to the next pile. What does your higher self want you to know? This is the pile that I was holding with my left hand. What does your higher self want you to know? Okay. Oh, interesting. The bottom of the deck, we have the Fool. Another major arcana. 
the full card. Okay, and the three cards I pulled, it's kind of an interesting pull. They're all, um, two of them are upright, the other one is reversed. We have the eight of pentacles, uh, we have the eight of cups, ten of cups, <laughs> and the six of pentacles reversed with the fool. What does this represent here? Your higher self here is saying that in order for you to gain the happiness and the joy and the fulfillment that you've been looking for, you need to embrace your fool side. You need to become the fool, which you're not. This is what came up in the bottom of the deck. The fool in alchemy, the journey of the fool, means the moment when you leave everything behind and you start your alchemical transformation and transmutation. The only way to transform is to shed the old layers, leave behind the things that don't serve us anymore, become the fool. See what the fool is having here. Let me show you because this is very alchemical and it has a lot of wisdom in it. Look at the card properly. The fool is only carrying with him uh, a small luggage on his shoulders. That's supposed to be his luggage. And he has a wand. You see the wand there? Because you know why? Because he's supposed to become the magician. Because the card that comes after the fool is the magician. So, so he's on his way to becoming the magician. And the magician always have a wand. And you see the balance there of dark and light. That means he's ready to embrace his darkness. And he knows that dark is light and light is dark. There's no difference between that. He's aware of that. And he's starting his journey to explore both the darkness and the light. That's why he's in the middle of the darkness and the light. He's in between. And he has a companion, a dog, a pet, because he's taking life with joy, with happiness. He's not taking life seriously. When you go on your journey, you have to start seeing things with a certain ease and lightness. It's not about being serious and being heavy and trying, being too serious and taking everything so seriously. That's for normal people. Because when you're stuck in a normal life, you become too serious. Your heart becomes cold and you forget your emotions. You forget how to love. You don't have compassion. You don't have empathy for people and you don't have sympathy for people. You don't even understand how to laugh at jokes sometimes, you know. But the fool, when he becomes aware of what he's supposed to do to transform, he starts taking life like a fool, like a crazy person. That's why when we hear someone or when we see someone doing something incredible, we say they're crazy because they're the fool. Because only when you're crazy, you can do something incredible. Because life is not about always being serious and calculating everything all the time. Sometimes you have to be airy. You have to follow the wind like the fool and see where it takes you. So your higher self is saying you have to start following your own wind, become like the fool in order to get the joy and the happiness and the fulfillment that you want. Because you feel that this is around you, but you're not accessing it. It's there. It's around you. It's like a cloud around you, but you don't know how to reach it. You don't know how to get there. The key to get there is to become the fool. So start your own journey. Whatever that journey represents to you. Is it traveling? Is it changing jobs? Is it uh, moving to a new place? It could be anything. Is it trying a new um, endeavor or a new project? Maybe you feel like you've been wanting to sing. Now it's time to start singing. You've been wanting to play the piano, now it's time to learn the piano. You've been wanting to paint, now it's, start, now it's time to start painting. Whatever that experience you've been wanting to do, now is the time to do it because it's gonna get you to the fulfillment you're looking for. Because here the Six of Pentacles reversed is saying that if you keep going like this, there, you're not gonna see any change. You're not gonna see any, any success. Let's pull another card message from your higher self. 
we have the emperor upright wow oh and the bottom of the deck the temperance reversed this reading is full of major arcanas for both of you guys for both piles this is incredible we have the emperor upright and we have the temperance reversed so this journey that i was mentioning earlier the fool's journey in alchemy we call it the fool's journey to becoming the magician is what's going to take you to your emperor state so you get on your chariot you start your fool's journey you take life not so seriously you follow the air follow the wind and you will find a way to activate your emperor state which is dormant it's not activated right now because you're meant to build an empire in this lifetime you're meant to build an empire just like the first pile the first pile they're already building it they have built it they have started to build it you are meant to start and this reading is a sign for you to start this journey already and temperance reversed here is saying that there is no time you don't have time to think you don't have time to hesitate you don't have time to be like oh maybe this is not the right thing maybe well what if i do this what if i do that no Temperance reverse here mean that as you see this reading, that's it. You need to start your journey. No time to waste. And one last card. We have the Ace of Swords. Your higher self is saying new beginnings are awaiting you new ventures, new adventures, it's all in your hand. There's so much ahead of you, so much beauty, so much adventures, so much success, and things you have never imagined before. Your higher self is telling you 10 years from now, if you see where, where you will be at, if you start this journey right now, if you activate it, 10 years from now, if you see where you're going to be at, you would not believe it. You would not. It would seem like a fantasy dream. It would seem like something that's out of this world. So your higher self is saying, start the work right now while it's too early. Because you're going to reap the benefits, the results, and you're going to have a blast. That's what I have for you. All right, so both readings were amazing, and you guys are amazing. Thank you very much for your support, for your help. I truly, truly appreciate it. Again, let me know in the comments section if you have any questions, and I can base my readings off these questions, and hopefully they can help you. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Narach, ilerekes, rustis.